right. Uh, so <laughs> new new morning in the city of Suraz. Oh, in, right. in light of Tyler's Ooh. missing a plot point, I'd like to role play bathing. No. <laughs> 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 And but you know what? He's a 15-year-old kid. He's probably on a one-track mind at the it's moment. True. So. It's true. And it was wow. walking out the door. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. track Dex checked my else. braiding my beard. <laughs> do, 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 I just picture him standing in front of a mirror, just like doing it like a tie. Just <laughs> flip. <laughs> flip. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now morning in the beautiful city of Siraz, and um, people, merchants are coming out, opening up shop for the day. The Zogarat shines brightly in the day. And um, you essentially have a brush, brand new fresh day in front of you. Fresh day. Fresh day. I want to go ex- examine the Ziggurat. Agreed. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll go with find you. find a door. Hey, wait, anyone see where the road went? Who? <laughs> Spud? Spud, little guy? Who? <laughs> The kid. The one. Oh! Mm. No. No. All right. Don't know, don't care. So who's doing, who's doing a walk around the Zug? Uh, me. I'm me. Zugging it up. I, I will. Sure. Garthok, you probably won't get up until like midday. Um, I'm gonna, you know, hey, drink it. Uh, make a fortitude save. Yeah. Just because you're a dwarf does not necessarily mean you can. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, hold on, hold on. But that's plus five. So it's seven. Seven. All right. Seven. You're not getting up early with them, so mm-hmm. you drink. Wait, a does lot does last drinking night. count as poison? <laughs> yes. Yes. But okay. It's, so but it's still plus no, five. but it's but it's also plus a two on top of that. So eleven. So uh, yeah. All right. So you get up, but you nine. not be happy about it. Oh nine. Yeah. No. So it's still not. Still. Fine. I'll sleep in. Right. Okay. You're sleeping in. Uh-huh. That's what you're doing. And you're not going to be. Eating a lot of horse meat though, too. Your I have a just, lot to eat. Yeah. Your stomach is just a All right, guys. So our, our three, um, our <laughs> three, uh, for the rest of the round. Um, just bad wine and horse meat. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a rough a morning. Mess. Rough morning. So you three take a take a walk around the Zuggerut, and you can see there's a pretty reasonable amount of space between. So nothing's attached at all to the Zuggerut. No like buildings are pressed up against it. There's a pretty spacious like a plaza. Three to four foot. Um, uh, a like birth. birth between any potential buildings or streets and the Zagrat itself. Mm-hmm. It's not made of sandstone at all. It actually is a greenish type of rock. If only we had the dwarf here who could identify this rock. He's sleeping in because he drank all night. Uh, <clears throat> my schooling was in engineering, so uh, I can oh take a look. <laughs> all right. I was going to be an engineer, but <laughs> the magic called. <laughs> <laughs> My father was totally thirst and hell. very <laughs> upset. So, who wants a wizard in their family when they can have an engineer? I'm sorry, I like this new Steve. Um, yeah. What's he? What? So, what's? What are you? What, is anyone going to be? Because essentially, you guys do do a walk around it, and if you're just going by, uh, does it have steps? Like it does have steps. It, it's uh, it steps like a zugarat does. Yes. Except I, each one of the steps is like 50 to 60 feet tall, and they're slanted at a 90 degree uh, angle. Grappling. I, I would like to I would like to observe and use my engineering background okay. to to try and determine where a door might be. Knowledge engineering check. Right. You got it. No problem. Yep, that's Nailed a one. It. That's um, a one. Um, First one a day. Plus right. seven. It has no door. Eight. It's an eight. It's an extremely well built um, <laughs> zugra. Looks like they made it out of stone, you guys. <laughs> Yep, it is made of huh, stone. How Pretty, about that? And it's, it's, it's it, it, it has the... Take us through the logic of... It's actually limestone because it's green. It's, ah. it's, been, it's been built in, in such a crisp and clean fashion that it might as well have been... It looks like it might as well be a monument instead of a building. Yeah. You know? Um, you wouldn't understand. It's totally <laughs> get it. My brain is dumb. How, <laughs> what if we look for magic? Around because same uh, source, magical. Oh, yep, same source, but knowledge, different stuff. Do you just do you, do you want to throw up a detect magic? I'll, I'll sure, I'll do it. Do it, <laughs> sure. If it'll make you happy, Druin, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, the queens, oh. Two the queens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna throw up detect magic. Detect magic. <laughs> I don't have to say anything, but oh. it's okay. Uh, <laughs> so you suddenly see a bright blue light from the corner of your eye. 
and you look up to see a beam shooting straight up from the top of the ziggurat in all of its capacity, and it goes up way up and beyond the Do clouds. Do we all see this or just detect just magic? Just detect magic, dude. Uh, and he, you literally see it's like it's almost like a solid column of light that is going straight up and through the clouds up into the uh, into the oh, atmosphere. That's some bullshit right there. What do your wizard eyes see? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, yeah, so um, there's a... Door? No. <laughs> <laughs> there is a uh, some some kind of blue light emitting from the top of this ziggurat. Okay. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not drifting right. between Thurston Howell and. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway. Yeah. So so do you let them know about the the, the yeah. beam as yeah. it goes through? Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. I'll be. Yeah. So. Yes, there's this blue light going from the top, a uh, sort of a column of light. Mm, if I wonder you will. if it's good or bad. Couldn't say. Yeah. Couldn't say. Um, Corrick, how are you feeling about all this? I'm shaking my head. I'm, uh, what I'm, what a group oh, of, of uh, dummies, <laughs> glasterers <laughs> that you're bringing in. So. Um, yeah, who booked this gig anyway? Yeah, oh, really. Uh, originally. Yeah, I'm not big on escort missions, <laughs> so it probably wouldn't have been me. Probably what's his face. <laughs> yeah, uh, Garthok, um, it, it's been a couple hours. You can wake up okay. and feel pretty awesome about yourself at the moment. So I'm feeling pretty awesome about myself. <coughs> as in awesome as in like hung over okay. and, and angry. So I slept though. You slept? Yeah, you slept. And you're right. a dwarf, you're probably fine. A little hair of the dog then. <laughs> what would you like to do? The, the, the team has left. Right. And Spud, by the way, what are you doing? Uh, I'm, I would, I'm gonna go walk around town for a bit. All right. Take in the sights, maybe check out that ziggurat. All right. So, I'd like to do as much as I can do to feel awesome. All right, so you're gonna drink some Hair of the Dog. Hair of the Dog, maybe spend, think... uh, spend 20 minutes right. in the outhouse. And you'll be okay. Uh, so, splash some water in my face. From the outhouse. So, from Spud, me. as from I as I described earlier, mm -hmm. um, there is there is an inn, um, there is a, an alchemy store, there's a blacksmith, there's a butcher. Um, there are several like oh. there are several other merchants who have set up various wares okay. that are around. Wait, how much how much money am I out from last night? Uh, you're out. Where's my? Oh yeah. Day? Oh yeah. How much fun did Spud have? <laughs> yeah. Last night. <laughs> 40 gold worth of fun. Oh boy, no. Heck no. 40 Sorry. gold fun. Five gold. Not, not at five gold. Yep. It was a really good time. That oh, is highway it's... robbery. Um, how is this is he... why you ask for prices up front. How is his, you know. How is he walking? Yeah. <laughs> like a, what it... like oh, a man. Great. Like a 15 year old man. <laughs> I'm a real boy. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was great. Um, um, cool. So yeah, so you're gonna take in the sights a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sight. Actually, I'm gonna check out the the, the ziggurat first. All right. Um, so you probably meet up with the crew as they're doing. Hey, the guys, let's let's um, build or like construct some sort of hiding place so that at night we can hide behind this thing and maybe watch what happens at night. It's a good idea. Like maybe on a rooftop somewhere, yeah. like uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll observe the the uh, local buildings uh, around here, see if there's a good spot that maybe we can, we can, uh, um, you know, have a little, a little place that, a little hidey hole that we can observe the ziggurat from, from afar okay. and not maybe be spotted. So how many, because there are four sides of the ziggurat, uh -huh. you know, so you can, depending on where you get, you'd be able to get view on Here's the thing. The I've got this thing called Eagle Eye that'll go. How high is the ziggurat? Oh, the ziggurat's um, at least three to four stories tall. Okay, so it's it's basically as if an eagle was flying above it. It, yeah. it can be anywhere from like 400 to like 500, 600 feet in the air. Okay. Um, so, I'm sorry. I should probably be a lot more specific about the size of the ziggurat. It is. It's not. It's not super tall, as far as it uh, goes, but it's but it is very wide, um, and the idea is is that it, it stares it does stare up, but the um, the uh, it seems how do I best describe it. I'm trying does to. Does it look like the Temple of Gozar? 
Gozar. Gozer? The Gozer? Gozer. 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 Oh. the Gazarian. Gozer. Right, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's fine. Your eagle eye will be able to see over it fine. Okay. Absolutely no problem. Yeah. So I, it only lasts for three minutes, so we'll just have to wait until we hear something. Okay, fair um, enough. In the, in the night, but it can be, yeah, I, I, I think we should all be together when we're hiding. And right. So the question is night. where? Um, yeah, if there's like a, a, some sort of, like you said, a bunch of the buildings are adobe. If there's a, a place that looks kind of abandoned or here. like a, a, roof, a rooftop. A roof, sorry? Hmm? A rooftop. Yeah, like a rooftop on the, what, south side? South side. Because wait, the ziggurat's north? Ziggurat is, um, it's, it obviously has a north, south, east, west front. And, so. But what part of the city is it in? It's in the southern center. part of the city. Or I'm sorry, it is the center of the city. It's in the very center oh, of okay. the city. Yeah, let's, yes. pick, let's pick south, right? Quick question. Uh, what, what buildings are around us again? Mostly adobe style um, buildings, a lot of them are, do are domiciles. I mean, like, uh, yeah, what, what, what vendors and such are, are in the area? There are, um, there are like jewelry vendors, there's a lot of gem vendors. Rich people. You know, there's Girl. a lot of people who have oh. precious gems. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, there's a, but it's primarily <laughs> jewelry like and him. exotics. Okay. There are a couple of um, ones that are, seem to be selling live animals. Hmm. You know, in fact, um, walking around, uh, Spud, how do you make a perception check? Well, yeah. And you, how do you make a perception check? You you're make looking a perception. perception. Are you uh, scared of my perception check? Uh, 24. 24. 18. Oh, that ain't 18. bad. Okay, so um, you notice a lot of the yeah, a lot of the stuff the that you're seeing up. is is very uncommon stuff, stuff that you've never seen. Like, you know that Saraz is like an exotic place that a lot of you know unique things come out of, but there's stuff here that you've never seen before in your entire life. Hey guys, this stuff's exotic, and animal wise, that. you see some. There are things that you've I mean, again. This is a world in which things are new and things are being rediscovered all the time. But the the amount of new th the you're seeing a lot of brand new stuff very frequently inside of the place. Like some of them is is like um, for example they have uh, you know uh, like a, a small white animal with tall like um, white ears. You know they have an animal that has that has a that has a duck bill. All right, and it has a it has a tail. Like a flat tail, and it seems to be hairy all is, on the front of it. That's a crazy the, bird. The ziggurat is a nuclear plant. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> stuff that you've never seen is basically <laughs> what I'm trying to get at. You know, okay. in your uh, travels. Cool. Okay. Uh, so there was a a not pharmacy. What am I thinking of? The uh, the alchemist alchemy, yeah. alchemy store. Do you think we should go ask them maybe if they've sold that type of fire potion to anybody? You know, the one that the guy tried to throw at us. Have you, have you seen that before? Greek fire. The Greek fire. Um, Alchemist fire. Have I seen that before? Alchemist yeah. fire? Yeah. Yeah. That's not uncommon. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. I've, seen it. I've seen it dozens of times. <laughs> <laughs> so. oh, well, congratulations. Do you want a trophy? Wow. Yes. <laughs> so, steak out? What you steak, out? Out. Steak, steak out. out. Steak out. Here, and here's the plan. If, whenever we hear like a stone moving or people coming towards the ziggurat, I'll eagle eye for three minutes. Okay. To see what's happening. All right. So, um, most of the night goes. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there anything else you guys wanted to do during the day before you do the stakeout in the mm -hmm. middle of the night? Okay. I'm good. I'm yeah. rested. Yeah. Yes. We're so, all um, vomited and city. pooped. As a pooped. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys uh, sit out and do your stakeout and go through the evening, you um, watch uh, as you uh, on the south side because you're on the south side, right? Yep. On the south side, you notice that um, several, uh, like a, a, a fog starts to build up around, like comes in through the city and starts kind of coming up around the area, around the base of the Silver Eye. So towards the later part of the evening, after, after midnight, but like before dawn, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, as, the, as the fog kind of rolls in, and looks um, over you, it starts to obstruct your vision a little bit, like you can't start. It comes in wide enough so that it encompasses the city a little bit mm. to where your stakeout is. Okay. So. Um, Does this look uh, magical in nature or what? Spellcraft it? Yeah. Okay. Does it smell? Mm -mm. Uh, 17. Totes magic. <laughs> Totes. It's fog. Bros. Yeah, it is an unnatural fog because you're also in a desert, and why would a fog come in in the middle of the desert? Mm -hmm. 
Right. Right. The fog. I know lots about deserts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what does it smell like? Magic. It's, it's, it smells like magic. <laughs> I love the smell of magic fog at night. <laughs> Uh, and you watch as a couple of dark figures start to emerge from the fog. Now would be a good time, you think? What yeah. Are you doing? My eagle eye. Oh, yeah. She's trying to determine where they're so coming from. I can, I can see from, I, I put it at the, the you know, the, on the top, center. Top. Yeah. Right. The, so you look around, and from your eagle eye, you see the top of the ziggurat, and it's dark. Uh, obviously, um, but you see the kind of the misty white murkiness of the fog that's coming from that side of the city specifically, oh, or uh, that side, the south side, the side that you're looking at, at the Zogarat specifically. Okay. And um, it's hard to see through. I mean, you can't it's really. It's a dense fog. Right. So it's, you're not really able to penetrate it with your eagle eye, but you can see the great cloud bank that's only that's only spilling out from a certain point in the center between the two, um, two points, and the fog seems to be uh, the thickest in that area. In what area again? The center between the two points of the south end. Oh, I see. So two points of the Zagrat, south end, and it's fogging out. That's where, okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And nothing on the east, north, or west? Nothing. Just, it's, it's clear as day on all those ends. Okay. Uh, so I tell them like this is this is the only area where the fog is. It's like it's like Hunger Games and the clock where it only affects one. I loved that book. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Character knowledge, right? Of mm -hmm. Hunger Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, clever. So what are we doing, guys? <laughs> so the figures the figures are moving through and they kind of um, they they the fi you see like a dance of shadows and then um, and then uh, and then the fog gets too thick to see anything more. So, Let's dance go of, in. Not shadows, but dance Agreed. of dark figures. That's where we want to go. Let's go. Go. So, uh, okay. send the dwarf. I, uh, I mean, I can go point, but I, I'll draw my. Uh, I have great rope. Axe. I have rope. Let's tie rope around all five just, of us. Okay. I was going to hold hands, but okay. <laughs> all right. Can we just walk? Well, it's very dense fog. So I'm sorry. What's going on? Tying we're going rope in. We're trapping out. Do you have rope? Yeah, I have rope. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want her to tie me off. Yours, you're fine. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Thanks. Oh, right. yep. Yeah, but you know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm no. not mad. No, okay. I'm no, not mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? We're good. I, I, I just have a thing with rope. I'm gonna put my hand it's not my, you know. on Mr. Pickle's head. Yeah. And just be like, wait for me here, boy. Okay. Wait for me. Music swells. <laughs> Music swells. <laughs> the, the soundtrack to War Horse kind of comes oh. out. Oh yeah. Head, you know. So we're um, going in the fog. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. Yes. Who's tied to? Who's tied? All four of us are tied up. Except, yeah, except not for, for me. Spud. Okay. Oh right. no, not Spud. Spud. Oh no, not Spud. Um, all right. So you might die. You guys I'm enter into the fog, and you see as we'll make perception checks. You're all inside of the fog. You're looking for something. Look. Uh, Twenty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. I think. Uh, Eleven. 11. Keeps logging okay. out. 23. 23. 31. 21. 31? Yeah. All right. So you all, <laughs> as you come in, you distinctly see um, two hooded figures that are carrying like, a, like, a, like several pouches in their hands, mm -hmm. and they're walking out from the, the Zuggerat, and they're beelining. Like they almost walk right into you. Like they they like come forward and they walk right through you. Not walk through you, but they but they're coming right towards you as if as if like nothing's wrong. They yeah. don't see us. They do. They see you, and they lift they their. They don't have. They, the fog's not impairing them. The fog's not impairing them, they're and they're walking. Just, and they're just they're just walking kind of straight through into the streets of the night. So, should we follow them? Or? No. Is they pass you. They look at you. They glare at you both from underneath their hoods. Oh. You know, mm -hmm. um, and I'll they glare right back at them. Right, and nice they dude. walk right by you. Nice. And they and one of them says in like a dark kind of guarding their own tone tone voice. They're like, "Travelers shouldn't be out in the middle of the night." We're looking for someone you might have seen. Uh, what? Let's see if that stops one who, of them. Who gave him permission to speak? Ha <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> ha! Free will. Who he looks, leader? He, they kind of like he like looks. He he stops to look Spot. at you. Go but, now. But then um, but then he keeps walking. Or he or she keeps walking, so. It's very loose road. Really? Um, 
is it, I, I want to accidentally or like somehow trip them or you know like like wow. at, like getting well they walked they, they walked right by yeah, and unless you want to like do like a uh, you could do an um, what would that be a balance no it would be a balance if she's just trying to like grab them up or something no, yeah. I'm, yeah I'm really trying to get like them to a, spill their could be a grab it could be a dex if she's faking it it'd be a bluff yeah that's a bluff okay I'll call oh. it a bluff these weak ankles of mine <laughs> sure um, oh. and. But does it heat? Wait, so where, where are they? They're walking by you. They're like literally okay. walking They're right by you. Yeah. Oh, the fog's so dense. Which way do I go? Only <laughs> those. Uh, four. A four. <laughs> okay. Well, you. Yep. Yeah. They they like it, it's it's like they don't even pay any attention to you. I just and you crazy. you start to do your act, but then by the time you even start, they're gone. Yeah. They're in the streets. That's embarrassing. So. Yeah. Um, you're feeling what do, a okay. So then next next people who walk by, do you want to trip them? See what they've got in their hands. Let's just kill them. There's only two of them. Cleric, right here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no. If you yes, do, you've you never murdered before. Huh? Never. Mm. It's always in defense. Oh, look at this architecture over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry, but that's that is kind of what's happening right now. So, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, let's let's stand four abreast and hold the rope. <laughs> And and keep going. Are you forward saying we're playing Red right? Rover? Yeah. <laughs> Red Rover. Yeah. Red yeah. Rover's yeah. right, right over. Send right Zugrat to, over. Try to um, what is that called? Clothesline. Clothesline. Oh. Some people. <laughs> I, I, I'm, just I'm in. To try and get Let's into the Zugrat. Yeah, I thought okay. we were trying to. Why do we, we need well. these people? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm sorry. So you want to do Red Rover? You want Nobody to? Nobody else wants to do Red Rover. Okay. We all yeah. want to get into the. So you walk. So I'm assuming you walk up to the edge of the Zugrat. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you walk up entrance. and um, I have. Can I? Can I perceive a hidden door, perhaps? Ooh. My, what do my, you have some sort of power that allows? I have stone you? cunning. Stone cunning. <laughs> yeah. Because my it's a uh, what, a dwarven ability. Stone cunning plus two what? bonus to notice unusual stonework such as traps and hidden it's doors. Really and stone walls. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's fine. Roll it. Roll it up. Stone cunning. Come on, Ben. It is a, ben, uh, do it. So it's a two. It's a plus two, plus two, right? Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. A perception so plus, plus two. Really smart Come stone. On. Make it happen, Ben. So Six, that would be sixteen. Sixteen. All right. So as you walk up to the, um, as you walk up to the Zograt, and you, um, you immediately, the first thing you notice is that it's just flat. Like there's just, it's just completely, it's like nothing different. And the fog is thick mm -hmm. and dwarf and like the state in which you're like, I, I need to know this. Mm -hmm. You start running your hands over it, looking yeah. for any. This green stone intrigues me. Right. And you start looking for slightly any divots, any, any, <laughs> slightly yeah. get the chubs. Um, <laughs> as you start oh. to like look for crevices, any little type of thing that might stick out just enough to do yeah. it. And you, yeah, your hand notices a, a, a smallest groove. Tell Garthok. <laughs> right? Show the, me your secrets. The smallest groove <laughs> in, which, um, in which writing could be ascribed uh, to it. So, like I it found feels, a slight groove. It, it feels like someone like, took, a, took the, finest, the finest of finest <laughs> chisel and etched some writing into it. Well done, Dwarf. You found writing. Very good. <laughs> Does anyone have paper, paper and discovered paper and writing? <laughs> What's that? Paper and charcoal. We could do a, a rubbing. A rubbing. I, I have ink and paper. Yes. You have paper. I have That's ink. Chalk. So chalk is fine. Chalk will work. Chalk will do it. Um, here, rub one out. Here, <laughs> throw me that chalk and this parchment. I'm gonna rub this. I'm gonna rub this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do that. Yeah! Oh, he kills it! Nice wow. one, he I, crit, I critted a rubbing. We don't know why we're rolling, but <laughs> yeah. roll a 20. He roll a 20. My dexterity. You know. roll, roll a 20 and rub The next it. words out of your mouth, <laughs> Ivan, should be, he really did it. He really <laughs> did it, guys. So it, it, it was a he, thorough rubbing. In a, in a moment of like just pure clarity, he just pulls the paper out and just starts <laughs> And he is focused in a way that dwarves love rock can only be focused. I know this. I know this. It's like it was born for this. Guys, guys let me do this. This is a moment. Can I just have this? <laughs> We're just like watching for myself. Him. It's like, should I stop him? No, just okay. let him finish this. And it so. just says, no rubbing. <laughs> 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 what, does it say? what does it say? Caution wet floor. <laughs> <laughs> it just says not a door. Try again. 
honestly, if that would be the perfect thing for it to say, but it doesn't. What does, uh, what does it, it say? Really say? Tell it us, says, Jim. the hands that thirst for knowledge may enter. The hands that thirst. Uh, your hands. It's a puzzle. Are, your hands are thirsting pretty hard. I think we need to knowledge. punch our way through this. <laughs> we, need to, we need to punch, punch our way. We just need to punch Start it over punching and over Cork. again. I just want to do a quick detect magic around Cork this. Cork okay. That same inscription mm -hmm. um, that, that he rubbed also glows blue. And it's very it's faint, though. Cookies. It's extremely faint. Okay. So. Mm. The hands that. What are hands that could be thirsting for knowledge? Like books? You're the puzzle master. Books, mixer. paper. Well, you are the puzzle master. Let's talk about it. Are you the puzzle master? Well, I'm the puzzle what? holder. Well, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm always thirsting oh, for knowledge. So. Yeah, but what thirst for knowledge? A brain thirst for knowledge? Hands is a... The hands of the brain. The hands that the thirst for knowledge may enter. What? No. Making a bad yeah. joke. <laughs> no, we'll leave it like there. What, Wait, let him work it out. Like a hand of a king, the hand of the king. Hands that thirst for knowledge. On that note, maybe we should scribes take a break oh, here. Oh, on that interesting. note, why don't we take a little break and have our players think about what the hands that thirst for knowledge may enter means when it comes to entering the ziggurat that may or may not hold the master inside. Find out next episode as we continue our journey with our travelers and discover new adventures that may await them. Mm. I'm stumped. Yeah, seriously. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a that's a two with a negative one. Uh, so one. All right. So Garthok, in a moment of, of, of pure comedy, oh, runs up ah. and he tries to do his most badass leap over the horse, only to get half a foot off I the ground. I slip on the blood. <laughs> yeah. And tumbles, and you're prone. So you're gonna have to get. You're gonna take a turn to get up. Yeah.